Rugged up and bandaged to the nines, Bates Rimney Park Emmerich, or Ricky for short, is one spoiled horse. He's a little bit spoiled, but he deserves to be. He has got a bit of a penchant for licorice and um, over Easter he became addicted to hot cross buns so now we're buying raisin toast to satisfy his cravings. <laughs> we don't like to see anyone go without. And so he should be. Ricky and his rider, Paralympics contender Rachel Stock, are one of our strongest chances of bringing home gold from this year's Paralympic Games in London. Earlier this month, Rachel received the call to say she'd be off to Greenwich to represent the Kiwis at this year's Paralympic Games. Oh, there's no words for that really. It's the culmination of years of work. Um, it's the ultimate for anyone to be able to represent their country at the very highest level. And it's a confirmation that everything you've been doing and all the work you've done, you're on the right track. So it's it just, just, just defied words. Happy dancers and lots of jigging around the house. And of course, Rachel is aiming for gold. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, we definitely, that's definitely the plan, that, but the gold medal will come with a personal best. Um, I don't want to be fixated on the actual medal, um, but the per, uh, you know, that's always any athlete that's serious and has put that amount of time and money and effort into it, that's the ultimate bring home. Um, but for New Zealand especially, bringing home a gold medal or a podium finish creates funding for the sport and it's been sorely lacking because we haven't had anyone able to reach the criteria or the international stage. No one's been able to perform at that level for quite a long time. And Rachel is up for the challenge. In the last two years, she has broken records, cleaned up at championships and has achieved higher percentages than previous Paralympic gold medal winners. Rachel will be a big threat on the day. Born with a degenerative bone disease, Rachel has had her fair share of struggles. Now barely able to close her hands or move her legs. There's some days that I get on and I realise we won't be doing flying changes and passaging and being flash, we'll be riding quietly today because the body's not responding. And then there is Ricky, of course. The, the talent and the movement and the ability is far, far above average and just extraordinary, but yet he has the patience and the understanding and the empathy that when he knows I'm not right or what my limitations are, rather than take advantage, he'll wait. At 18 hands high, Ricky is a long way to fall off from. And with Rachel's lack of mobility, this threat is only minimised slightly by modified gear. A saddle which sees her strapped into position. It's different because I'm strapped to the saddle and so I can't get off if there's a problem. I think everyone who has ever been um, involved in equestrian knows those moments when you decide to walk rather than war <laughs> and would get off in a situation that it, they're, it's getting out of depth. I can't do that. I'm strapped in. And is it worth it? Yeah, I mean if you're not well and if life's a bit challenging, what better to get out of bed for every day? Emma Jones, Country 99 TV News.